Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Charles once again. I'm showing you some of my uh, bivvies that I have here. Um, <clears throat> now originally I wanted to have three bivvies here to compare for you. But when I bought this Winchester canvas um, bivvy, yeah, it cost me a little more money. <laughs> so I, I sold my um, Army MSS, which has the uh, RPAT bivy. Um, <clears throat> and I came to that, I, I got that as a set for like about 150 with the two uh, sleeping bags. So the patrol bag and the um, cold weather bag and the bivy for 150 basically. Um, <clears throat> But once I decided to buy this guy here, I didn't really need that extra bivy. So I I sold it on, or I listed on eBay. I thought I was going to get this before I sold the other one. Something happened with UPS where they could not get this to me until today when I am recording this right now. <clears throat> so I couldn't show you the difference between three of them. Now all I have is two that I own. Um, on the right is the USMC um, bivy. Um, the main reason I bought this is that you've got that bug net there. So if it's not raining, you can open that up and bugs don't come in and, and bite your face. Um, it allows it also to breathe. So, I mean, when you're talking about Gore-Tex or nylon, which is basically the same as uh, Gore-Tex, you know, when we're talking about water repellency, they don't breathe at all. So, <clears throat> I like this guy right here. Um, this ended up running me around $100. Um, what's great about these USMC ones, once again, is you've got this support around here to keep this off your face. Um, You've got all of the zips on the back. And you can kind of form this. So, I mean, it's malleable. So, the, the good thing is it's malleable. The bad thing is when you stuff this into your bag with the uh, sleeping bag, these things get kind of deformed and you got to redo it. Um, so let's take a look at the Winchester. Let's focus on this. Um, basically, this thing is a heavy duty canvas. Um, and so they do have an aluminum, and I'm not fucking British, so I don't say alum aluminum or whatever the fuck. It's aluminum in American English. Um, so let's take a look here. So what I like is they've got this mesh over here. It's an, a no -seum mesh. And so this thing prevents it from water coming down here. But it gives you the breath breathability that you don't see on most of the bivvies around. Now this one has breathability, but if it rains, you have to cover up on the inside so that water doesn't come in. Um, this one's always open and what the rain does is with this it just runs off the outside. Um, <clears throat> so that's part of the reason that I bought this. Um, another thing is with this treated canvas, heavy duty canvas, I can put this next to a fire and I don't have to worry about the thing burning up or embers coming up and um, compromising the cover uh, like you would probably see on this nylon over here. Um, <clears throat> downside is, let's take a look at this. Uh, this thing is about two pounds on my scale for the USMC bivy. Uh, versus about nine pounds, so it's 4.4 4 
kilos on this. Um, <clears throat> now I know that's that's kind of heavy. Uh, it's very heavy, but I'm not an ultra light type of guy. At least not yet. I think maybe when I get older, maybe maybe I'll, I'll lean more towards this. Um, but I'm not old enough yet to where I'm I'm worried as much about my knees. Um, also, I'm not doing any th uh, through hiking, so I'm not going you know uh, 2,000 miles to go to Appalachian Trail or the Pacific Crest Trail or whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> I'm going 10 miles or less. So, you know, for that heaviness, um, it's not that big of a deal because I'm not going that far. Uh, it's also part of fitness, too. I mean, if I was really, you know, weak or something, then, you know, maybe this might be too heavy or something like that. Um, that's why I like this bear. Uh, this is also large enough where I could actually fit myself and my son who's 11 years old or um, my wife inside of there if I needed to just because it's much larger with the USMC one this is only gonna be big enough for me now I'm only six feet tall and uh, about 210 to 215 um, pounds um, <clears throat> so let's take a look at some of the measurements real quick I mean, when I'm I'm looking at the width on this, I'm going more to about a 32 inches wide. Holy smokes! Now this is why I should edit and all that bullshit. Get you ready. Um, when we're taking a look at the USMC one, we're at about 24 inches. So if you see here, it's only measuring around 21. I can probably stretch it to about 24 at the at the shoulder width. Um, <clears throat> when I get to my feet, though, I'm still around about 26 to 28 inches wide down there, and then over here I'm going to be around fifth, uh, excuse me, 16 to 18 inches down at the feet. Um, now this is great just to keep on the ready if I'm just thinking about myself now I've got a family so um, I usually keep a, a backpack and I usually keep one of these bivvies over here and ready just in case the shit hits the fan and I need to go somewhere I've got these um, you know maybe if my wife gets really mad at me <laughs> I've got these bivvies too so I can just uh, that's my dog house for the night right <laughs> um, now, what I really like about this Winchester is, you know, it's, the build on this is ridiculous. I mean, this thing is built tough. So, they do have a small amount of um, Velcro right here. And I guess the reason why the, the builders use this is because the um, zippers aren't strong enough to keep it closed um in that area you know i don't know if that's true or not but uh that's what i've seen and told um you've got so much room in here now so you can also use this thing as a cowboy uh, canvas roll type of deal um if we take a look inside here, I've got this gray area here where I can stuff um, clothing or different things inside of this to make a pillow. Now, I usually keep a, a little thermos rest um, pillow in there, but if for some reason I, reason I forget, I can just put my, um, my clothes inside of there. I mean, this thing is very spacious inside. Um, and then you can just fold this thing over and just use it like a cowboy um, canvas roll type of thing. Um, what's cool about this USMC one, it, it's pretty lightweight. It's made out of nylon, similar to Gore-Tex. Um, you can compress it pretty well. 
and it's somewhat lightweight. Um, it's definitely only for one person. This is only made for one person, but you can fit two people that are not like extremely large inside of here. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else. If you guys have any questions on these things, now I haven't taken this one out. I've taken this, the USMC one out, and it's been great in the weather. Uh, I just got this one. So I cannot tell you how good or bad this guy is. I will update you as I use it. I mean, if it sucks, I don't think so, but it could. Um, I don't really care. I will let you guys know. Anyway, I wanted to show you these real quick. Thanks a lot for watching. Once again, if you have questions, um, put a message on there and I will answer as soon as I can. Thank you.